Hey guys, Mr. Tolly. I finally got a range day. My uh, knee is feeling a little better. So I thought I'd come out. I'm going to do a little load testing. I have the Caldwell chronograph set up. I'm going to also review that a little bit. Um, I have some targets downrange a little bit. Since I'm purely velocity testing, I'm not real concerned about accuracy. But we'll see, I've got three of them. And I got three shooting irons. Uh, I'm testing some 38 special loads. And it's kind of my pet range load, kind of a plinker. I can reload these cheaper than I can uh, 22, and I can shoot 22 long rifle. So, anyway, I've got in the middle is a Taurus Model 85. Um, review coming on that too. <laughs> in 38 Special, it's a five shot snub nose revolver. I have my, let's see, the M85. I have a Taurus Model 82 to the right there. Uh, four inch barrel. And my Smith & Wesson Model 28 Highway Patrolman. Uh, and that's got a six inch barrel. We're going to be shooting 38 Special through all of them. Even though the uh, 28, the Highway Patrolman is a 357, it'll work fine. Should give me good results either way. And I kind of want to see what the spread is in the barrel length with this load as well. So I'm going to start with the 4 inch and just kind of get a baseline and see what we got. So we'll be back in a bit. Alright guys, I'm going to start with the 6 inch and uh, we'll see, ignore the 639 that's on there. That's from uh, my last shot. Hey guys, Mr. Tolly. Uh, did my velocity testing. I have three targets. Um, I'll just give you a quick look at them. Something white behind it. That's from the Model 28, 357 Magnum, shoot 38. The group is nice. I will say um, the speeds were. The velocities were all over the place. Uh, the spread in velocity was horrendous. You know that the first group had an average of 671.2, the second group 702.8. I'll try to put a little mm, something somewhere up here showing the velocities that I got out of the, each group. Um, the next one was four inch model 82 that didn't shoot too bad now the load that I was shooting was tailored to this gun as best as I could get it with the powder I had um, and that's the highest spread was 42 on the first group at 706 feet per second and uh, the spread on the second group was 39 at 715 feet per second and again I'll put that up there too. So the last group was shot. Now there's a couple extra holes in here from that one's from a 30-30 and a couple from nine millimeters. Anyway, uh, I did. There's 15 rounds in here. Five of them were offhand. The two inch, my average velocity was 655 and 656. Uh, with a spread of 46 and a spread of 37. 
The spreads are kind of, I'd, I'd like to get the spread down around 20. I think that would uh, increase the accuracy, make it just a better shooting round. But in an effort to try to keep these kind of short too, I'll put something up there. Up above, whoa, somewhere. And uh, have those velocities so you can see them. Uh, the guns again were the Smith & Wesson Model 28, the Taurus Model 82, and the Taurus Model 85. The 85 is brand new. This is my first range trip with it, so that might have something to do with it too. The other two have been, you know, had some rounds through them. This 38, I've probably put seven or 800 rounds through. That's fun to shoot. I love it. So, there you go. Um... There's some other footage coming up, so stay safe, and God bless, and have a great day. This is the Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph. I never had a chronograph before, and with my reloading, I wanted to take it to, like, to the next level and be able to record some data for each, some of the loads that I do, make sure that I'm not going too far and getting them where I want them to be and you know that kind of stuff. I do load my own self-defense rounds so I want to make sure those are within you know the neighborhood where I want the speeds to be and such. This is a chronograph. It comes with two sunshades, one for each end. You know the, your eyes are here. Um, they're really the rods are stored on here. They are just a matter of popping it in here, popping it in the other end, as long as you can keep it in there, get in there. That'll make the video longer. And you just set them in here, and you're off and running. And that leaves the shade up over the top there. And there's two, of course, one for each end. Um, but you saw on the range, I was using some software, and the reason for that is this chronograph, and I will say that, you know, it was pretty inexpensive. I want to say it was under $80. Matter of fact, I think it was like 70 bucks when I bought it, it which was more than I, want, I could really afford at the time, but it's really something that I needed to go to the next level with my loading. So... And it also comes with a 15 foot cable. Now the, the case that I have on my phone is pretty stout because I dropped my phone. <laughs> I've already broken this phone once. Um, so I had to do a little trimming on the end there just to get it to fit. Not a big deal. But it's a 15 foot cable so you can actually put the chronograph 10 feet down range, still have your cable and it still syncs up with your phone. But it also comes with a little carrying bag. With that aside, this is the software for it. Let's zoom in a little. This is kind of part the part of the chronograph review part. So I'm gonna to try to do this in the viewfinder, so forgive me. <laughs> I'll try to position myself better. This is the home screen, and you can take your shots. Now, if you've got this 15 yards downrange, the display on it, the big numbers, you can probably see it 10 feet downrange. This will let you see it right in front of you. And this is for doing single shots. If you want to do a group, you hit new group and start. And you can shoot a five shot, you can shoot a string of five or ten shots, whatever you want, and it will keep you a running tally on your average speed, your standard deviation, your minimum speed, and your maximum speed, uh, the spread, how many feet per second between the the fastest and the slowest shot, um, shots per second, which we really don't care about for load development, and your true muzzle velocity, which I don't quite understand that one, and I'll have to get back to you on that. But so far, I've liked it. All you need to do... Now, the one thing I didn't like was 
if you want to delete the group, you have to hit save to get to delete group. So hopefully that's all showing up there. I can't tell for sure. But then you can delete the group. And uh, you can save the group too and save it to your phone or your Android device. This is, I believe it's available for um, the iDevices to your iPhone or iPad. Um, but these are groups that I've saved from my testing. I can click on a group and bring back all the data from that one group. And if I want to, I can hit the share button and I can send an email or text or what have you. And let's send it to myself. If I can spell. And we'll just hit send. So off it goes into Never Never Land to be found in my email. So I'll just exit the program because that's pretty much what it does for you. Um, open my email and it'll show me the data in the email. Everything that it showed me on the screen. From here I can print it out or whatever I want to do with it and have that data forever or just delete the email and not worry about it because I have it in my phone anyway. But those are some really quick things about the Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph. I know there's quite a few people that have done reviews on these. I'm not the first, don't claim to be the first, but these are my experiences. You saw that the you have seen or will see the shooting video so uh, take that for what you will you'll see the display numbers and how they you know they're pretty big back up and there you go let me put my ugly mug on game right here there you go um, got a haircut got a whole bunch of them cut anyway that is the Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph. Uh, it will do everything from air rifle to high powered rifle. It's supposed to go up to 7,000 feet per second. So that's pretty fast. Anyway, there it is in a nutshell. You'll see the rest of the video and stay safe and God bless.